University of Minnesota in a Division Three game Saturday. He made a total of 86 passes, man. The Lakers could use somebody who could pass the ball. Yeah, tell me about it. Jeez, the previous high of 26 was set in 89 by Robert James of a Division Three University, Keene. And the Division One record of 22 was achieved by three players, including current Dallas Mavericks coach... Avery Johnson. Avery Johnson at... Southern in 1988. You knew it? I forgot. I forgot the little snake went to Snuggers. Yeah, yeah. And then Sherman Douglas of Syracuse in 1989. So, man, yeah. that's pretty cool. That's a lot of assist assists, man. Yes, it is. That's a lot of dimes dropping. A lot of dimes dropping. Dropping dimes like weight, man. Yeah, yeah. But speaking of... Uh, Speaking of the amateur sports, we're going to get into some high school sports, man. Um, there is a school in Texas that looked um, that I was looking up, and what happened there? Pablo, quit sending me text messages during the dang show, man. <laughs> hey, he's digging, he's digging your Jesus. Man. Are you in, Pablo? Yeah, Pablo. that's me. Oh, okay, man. Jeez. Paul says I'm digging uh, Jesus, right? I want to. I want to bring up a little later. Just let me see if I got a chance. Oh, know? okay, okay. We're talking about this uh, Texas School for the Deaf High School. Um, I was checking out uh, head to heads, head to head uh, matches, matchups um, for the high schools because you know a lot of the teams travel out of state and things like that. And I was coming across and looking at some of the states, and I looked at Texas, you know, and then there was a uh, they beat one, they beat. California. There was one game played between Texas and California. It was the Texas School for the Deaf High School against the um, uh, California High School for the Deaf, which is um, the one in Riverside. Right. Yeah. Um, but that School for the Deaf in Texas, man, they put up 56 against the oh. Riverside one and um, 56 nil. Uh, they and I, was, I just started investigating, looking into them a little bit, man. That's a good team out there. Yes, it is. They won uh, a couple of games in the playoffs. They're finally beaten by Regents of Austin, Texas, who's in the same league of them. But look at these numbers they put up, man. 34, 36, 62, 56, 30, 54, 20, 40, 54, 78 to 12. Wow. 58 to 20, 20 to 18. And then finally they ended the season with a loss, 12 to 42. But I guess hearing is not one of the main uh, – Senses you need to have to play football, huh? No, not at all. There's been some college players and some pro players. I remember, uh, what's his name? Uh, Alvin Williams uh, for the Denver Broncos, Pro Bowl linebacker. Yeah. He was deaf? Yes, he was. I did not know that. Yes, he was. I did not know that. So uh, congratulations to what's, uh, to the Texas School for the Deaf and Coach Matt Thompson out there. They went 2-2 two and two in league, 10-3 and three overall. Made it into the playoffs. They beat a Legacy Christian Academy. They, they don't play all deaf schools because there's not like a ton of deaf schools, you know. So they play in, they play uh, normal schools. I guess um, it kind of helps them when they're on the road, probably, huh? And and the fans are trying to go yeah. crazy and um, and uh, you know make some noise. It doesn't <laughs> doesn't really you know that's, there's no home field advantage or uh, I guess no they don't lose any advantage when they go on the road either. So congratulations to them no out there. It's yeah. good to hear yeah, all that stuff. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. It's what they want to do, man. That's true. That's true. And speaking of division championships, it all went down this weekend, uh, yesterday, culminating over there in Carson at the Home Depot Center. But it started on Friday night for myself and for the Central Division, Southern Section Central Division, as uh, Colony and Canyon Springs got down. And one of the headlines says, Canyon Springs goes down fighting in losing championship game 41-14 to to Ontario of Colony. So congratulations to Ontario of Colony. Um, they, uh, they won. They won their second straight championship. And when they say Canyon Springs goes down fighting, they literally went down fighting, man. I mean, this game got crazy and got out of control. The game was actually stopped with a minute and 33 left. Didn't even finish the game. That's when the last fight broke out. Bench clearing brawl. All of Canyon Springs sprinted across the field and, and went over there to that colony side where, where um, there was some pushing and shoving going on. That um, crazy. Yeah, it was really crazy. In the third quarter, um, the first the first skirmish broke out on the Canyon Springs sideline when quarterback Ryan Warren was was tackled out of bounds and kind of got a little extra slam by uh, linebacker over there and actually um, their 
multi-position player number 22, Daniel Simmons, a running back and a cornerback. They both got ejected during that whole skirmish there, man. It was